tell us about what you think. Yeah, I uh, thought in terms of what I'd expected that the movie didn't live up to um, maybe uh, uh, the use of universal laws or about the learnings of life in a way that told a story that if you're trying to understand someone who's lived through something so hectic would have um, connected the dots, especially because here was something that was trying to explain the idea of God in a way that took away um, all ideas of being stuck in one religion, which the main actor actually finds himself in. Um, it's a beautiful movie because it does reach a point where it makes you aware that even for a meaningful relationship that life has made, um, because a relationship can exist, because of the way things are today, you do need to fight. You do need to... Um, uh, like for instance, he read some book about how things will happen, but in actual fact, eventually he had to think practically about his situation and to come up with new and innovative, maybe not new, things that were also part of his learning, he'd been in the circus, but at least things that are also part of laws of actions. And he tried to apply a lot of that, but in fact, in actual fact, the beauty of the movie is the beauty of the world, the beauty of the space of the world so he shows a lot of that very brilliantly you know and what you see is um, beautiful it's it's very picturesque um, beautiful backgrounds beautiful um, episodes of what the world can be like um, one can't say whether actually they are all factual or all really possible but it is very nice in that sense otherwise <coughs> the problem is just the difficulty of understanding the sequence of events and how they relate to what can be the beauty of universal laws, life, action, and several things like that. Thanks. Anything else you want to say about uh, the experience of any? Uh, it, I think 3D is a bit in difficult. The middle, for me. In the middle of the uh, ocean, mm -hmm. that little psychedelic part. Just so interesting to me, you know. I wish that would. Have which psychedelic part? Uh, when they saw all of the mother and everything like that, you know, it was almost oh, yeah. like uh, 2001, but on a, another kind of psychedelic level, you know. Yeah, yeah, that was actually quite. A, I mean, initially it's a little bit confusing, but again, it's a play of beauty because at one point he's looking at an animal and then at, at uh, like a fish type of animal, a water animal and then all of a sudden the next thing you see is um, what land animals starting to break up and kind of in a different kind of formation act differently um, but still at the same time it is really beautiful but then what that does is then to descend much deeper and deeper into areas you act, can't actually see but of course one can then begin to ma imagine and with the fact that he's lost his family very recently and he's also experiencing pangs of hunger, of thirst, of fear when through various things, he can actually imagine sort of a sense of home. Um, he can imagine the ship at the bottom, he can see his family. So it's, it's very, like I was saying, that's part of the picturesque part of it. Very beautiful, you know. Um, and even in the way then it then explains um, <clears throat> the idea of God and yeah, really through the beauty of, and of course, 3D is everything in in one sense. I mean, it, it's not the first time I'm watching 3D, but it's the first time that it's affected me. Maybe because the narrative didn't um, draw me very quickly into particular things where I'm thinking more about it. Instead, I end up finding myself um, being aware of maybe sometimes the unnecessariness of certain things, and then also being drawn to, you know, the beauty of the fact that you can create this sense of um, distance and um, what do they call it in photography? Depth. <coughs> Depth of field, yes. Thanks. Um, and uh, it's very beautiful in that sense because they also use that very well in the flying fish, um, the psychedelic thing of moving from into one 
feeling to another and the feeling is actually expressed through the different um, animals that are embodied as the shapes move on and as you move into different uh, as it moves to the bottom of the sea. Okay, thanks so much Tulani for talking about the life of pie. Thank you very much. Thanks Anthony for bringing me out too.